In this tutorial, we'll see how you can create responsive cards in Bootstrap. So let's think about the layout here. We're going to use the grid system again. So let's actually look at the default layout. It's, it is that it is stacked, right? So it, these cards are stacked now. And only from a particular breakpoint and onwards do they become that horizontal layout, right? So very easy to do with the grid system. You start off with a row, right? And then um, you have 12 units to allocate. And we want those units, we want those uh, columns to be equally wide, right? But only from a particular breakpoint and onwards. So what you can say, you don't have to specify the number, but we have three columns, so we're going to have four, and they're going to be equally big. So we don't have to specify the number, only the, the breakpoint at which point they should become that horizontal layout. So here I just picked a uh, large, but we have uh, three of them, right? So now we can place the cards in here and um, the cards will automatically take up the width of that column, right? So Bootstrap does not give these cards a set width. So it does not it does not give these cards a width of let's say um, 100 pixels. It will make them um, it will make them 100% by default. However, here in the example, you know they they do want to have they do want to give it a, a particular width just so it, they can show you how it looks like. So here they actually do it with the style attribute, right? So when you copy it from this example, make sure that you pay attention to that because we actually don't want them to have a set width like that, right? They should they should simply take up the width of this column in which they are placed, which it actually will do by default. But you do need to make sure that you don't. Uh, copy that uh, style attribute. So I'm just going to copy my car from the example here because it already has the correct text and images and so on. Right, so now I've placed uh, these cards in their respective columns, just three. Right, and we'll see how this works. Okay, that's a little bit big, but it does work. Oh, however, right, it does work. They are stacked, right, they are stacked. And at the large breakpoint, they do become horizontal. However, they're sitting right against the edge of the viewport, right? So here we can use that container class again to restrain the uh, width. So we can put that entire row in a container class, right? This is a very handy uh, class that you get out of the box, right? So now I've put everything in that container class and now it has restrained that uh, width, right? So now it doesn't sit right against the edge, right? So now as, as I make it smaller and smaller, you can see we have a very nice looking layout here. Let me actually make it bigger again. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.